Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore VLLM on RunPod. So VLLM is a high throughput and memory efficient inference engine. So basically what it means that you can inference LLMs faster. You can run large language models faster and we're going to deploy this on RunPod in a very serverless manner. So if you don't know RunPod, it's a GPU provider. One of the most affordable GPU providers in the world right now. I think the most affordable and the secure as well. So there are other competitors like Vast AI, you know, Paper Space, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to look at in this video how we can, you know, uh, use this on RunPod. Now, if you look at here on my screen, I am on VLLM's GitHub repository have around 24k stars high throughput and memory efficient inference and serving engine for llms one of the one of the best innovation that has happened you know in in the recent times when it comes to large language models and you can also you can do a lot of things they are basically based on something called paged attention so i'm not going to cover that in this video but if you look at here it says efficient management of attention key and value memory with paged attention but the focus is that how you can leverage VLLM on RunPod. So here I am on RunPod right now. You can see I have around ten dollars in my RunPod account, and I am. If you log in for the first time, you have to come here in the left hand side and search for this serverless. Now, what do you mean by serverless? That you do not have to worry about the infrastructure management, or you have to not, you do not have to create infrastructure manually and deploy these models. You just have to select large language models and a few of the settings that you want to, you know, depending on the model that you select, and then you just deploy it. Click on a button to deploy, start whatever, and then you just use this deployed model as an LLM endpoint. The good thing about this serverless VLLM is that it's OpenAI compatible. So you can just use OpenAI uh, library and their the way of you know uh, generating context uh, content using OpenAI. So they have they provide chat completions uh, and a lot of other features in the OpenAI library, and you can just do it. So their endpoints when you deploy it here, they are compatible with OpenAI. So let's start here. So what I'm going to do is start. When you say start, it asks for hugging face models. When you click on this, it takes you to all the models thingy. Now it suggests open chat, open chat 3.5, 1, 2, 1 not. You can take any model. So you can see you can take Llama 3, you can take Mistral Nemo, recent model. You can take Llama 3 8 B instruct. So for, for example, if I take Llama 3 8 being stuck, let me just copy it here. Come here and paste. So you can see I have just pasted my model name. And if it's a gated repository, then you have to give your token. I'm going to select my token. I'm going to, of course, when I make this token expired on Hugging Face, let me just do next. Now here are some LLM settings. So for example, it also supports quantized models. So if you want to use GPT, GPTQ or GGUF, you can also use quantization. So you can see it suggests three different quantization right now. GPTQ being one, the most used one. Then we have AWQ, uh, you know, quantized, uh, and then we have Squeeze LLM, and a lot of other things. Okay, uh, you have max model length. Maximum number of tokens to the engine to handle per request. These are optional. Load format optional. Base path. These are fine. You can also enable this if you want to do trust remote code. But I just keep this as it is. KV cache. We have some tokenizer setting. If you want to bring up some uh, tokenizer, you also have a custom chat template. Which, you know, for example, if you are using Llama 3 8B and if it accepts a, a specific chat template. You can also do that, but I'm not going to do it here. I'll just keep it as it is. I just want to show you how you can deploy and inference uh, and use that as an endpoint. You have GPU and system settings. These are all fine. Streaming settings. These are all fine. OpenAI settings. These are all good. 
and server level setting so max concurrency you can see and these are all good so let's do next the next is you're going to give an endpoint name so let me just give it run pod demo llama 3 and then you can select which gpu do you need gpu selection depends on your experience as well how much knowledge you have to select gpus based on the llms you should select 1.5x of gpu at least you know uh, if you are taking a quantized model if you want to run a quantized model on gpu if you want to you know run this on if you want to load this and run this on uh, like as a default model without any quantization then for this llama 38b if you look at here let me just go up you can see it's 8.3 billion parameter i will go with at least 48 gb of gpu for this so i'm going to select 48 gb gpu pro i think l4 provides how much 24 gb if i'm not wrong and then they have uh, then a hundred here 80 gb but i'm going to go with 48 gb gpu pro you can see it's l40 yes so l40 l40 is 6000 adder depending on the gpu that they have available they will make it available for you you can also work with multiple gpus you can select here gpu workers also you can also select one more gp if you want but i am happy with this and then i'm do, just do next deploy once i do deploy it says successfully deployed endpoint and here after after you see this ready and stuff you have to come here on the request and you can see there is a already a payload you know prompt hello but i'm just going to do something like you know what is ai or something okay and then you can just do run when you do run it will be in queue for the first time because it has to download the model and everything that has to do let's go on the logs here so when you click on logs it will show you two logs system logs which we don't care about mainly you know in this right now at, at least as of now what we care about is the container logs so it says no container logs yet this usually means that the port is still initializing so you have to keep a check on the container logs the reason being because container logs the first time when you do it the model has to be downloaded from hugging face it has to be you know up and running started and everything and you can see it's right now in queue it takes a bit of time when you run it for the first time so you have to be a bit patient for the first time but after that it will be fast right so what i'm going to do is pause the video and come back once this is done all right so guys you can see that uh, we got the output here it took around 30 seconds for the first time uh, don't worry if you don't get a uh, like a long response that is fine because we, we are not handling the inference parameter right now we're going to do that in a bit let me show you something as i said that this is open ai compatible you have the open ai base url that we want to use we also have a run that you see here this run so mainly if you don't want to use the open ai endpoint like open through open ai uh, and uh, endpoint or through open ai libraries then you can also do that uh, without it as well now how we can do it so you need an api key so here in the settings you can find out api keys and once you have the api keys you can come here on colab you can see i'm running on colab let me just run this pip, pip install open ai i'm installing the open ai thing here and from open ai so let me just go back because i have to copy my come here on serverless you will see this is running this is what your endpoint id is so let me just get this now i'm going to define my run pod run pod id here so let me just do that and i already have my api key set up in here in the left hand side in env uh, secrets so i'm just going to run this and then i'm initializing this client you can see through open ai so let me just do it here and then i'm just giving a name so you can give a name here so for example i just want to give this name called instruct or something and then and then here 
let's take the default question i got it from their documentation i'm going to keep this 0.7 a bit creative and then it takes your model model name it has a role user like a pretty standard template you know you can change the chat template guy that's up to you Yeah, so you can see it says I apologize, but I'm not familiar with a platform called RunPod. Yeah, because the knowledge cut or cut off have been there, it, it does not know, so that is fine. So what I'm gonna do is probably ask the questions. How to uh or not how write a fast API code to make an API call using request. Using request module. Okay, let me. Is it a request or re, uh, it's fine? I think it should understand at least that much. If it's if it cannot, then it's not a model to be used. Okay, to be honest. Uh, so write a fast API code. So let's see if it's able to get this one. So you can see a request by the way it's able to get it so it's my bad okay now you can see such a beautiful output that we have got here uh here is an example of how you can use the request module to make an api call for a fast api application it it brings up the imports you initialize the app you just a get method and you just async asynchronous one of the feature in fast api and then it explains the code fantastic i love this output guys you can use max tokens you can increase the max tokens as if you want depending on your need and this is how you can this is how you can deploy any llm that vllm supports so here is vllm eg fast and cheap llm serving for everyone if you if you are someone who wants to do production level thing because locally you locally you cannot build right if, if you want to build it for client you have to deploy this llms uh, you know through a high throughput and memory efficient inference. So you have unsloth you have VLM You know you have Titan ML coming. I don't know when they will come in, but they're not open source if I'm not wrong Correct me if I'm wrong and I love open source things. So VLM is your choice VLM is the best you know, when it comes to this So you just deploy VLM through run port take a run port instance. You can always upscale downscale You can stop the uh, you can stop the service whenever you want. So let me go here and you can delete the endpoint here. So let me just delete the endpoint. I'm just gonna copy here, copy this, come here and delete. So I deleted the endpoint. So you can see now there is nothing. I'll go to hugging face thingy. As you guys have seen my API key, so I have to delete it. So I'm just gonna delete this. Or or you can delete anything you want. I mean, you can always create a key. That's not a that's not a big thing. So I deleted all my keys. So you can't do anything with the keys now. So this is done. Run port is done. VLLM has been covered. How you can do it? So it's very easy, guys. Not rocket science. So let let these services handle all the infrastructure, you know, management, all the complexity. You focus on building applications and projects, uh, you know, using these LLMs. If you have any questions, thoughts, or feedbacks, uh, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. You can also join our Discord community. I will give the link in description. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in the near future. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.